Guys, got a special video for you today. Uh, I've actually been invited down to uh, Southampton to go out on this beautiful Arxon 28 on what is a lovely November day. Um, hopefully when we get out there, there will be some chop that we can uh, ride over. But I'm really looking forward to showing you what this boat is capable of. And this will actually be the first sea trial video on my YouTube channel. Uh, so yeah, I'm really excited to take you on this journey with us as we go out and see what this boat is capable of. So the Arxon Adventure Series is all about going out on day trips in the sort of conditions that would keep most people tied up alongside. Um, it's a fantastic setup for a day boat, but if you decide that you want to spend the night on it, it's also got enough space for that as well. Um, so if you, like me, like going out for the day but don't want to come back, it's also an excellent boat for overnight trips as well. But I'm really looking forward to going out on this, uh, seeing what she's capable of. Hopefully we'll find some rough weather out there, fingers crossed. Uh, I also really love this huge skylight. When you're sitting on the helm position, you really do get a sense that you are part of the surroundings and you're not just shut off from it. Thanks to these massive windows as well that wrap around you. And the side windows, because there's no stanchions, I mean, this view here, is just amazing. Uninterrupted view to starboard uh, and also over on the port side as well. <clears throat> just look at that view. If you were gonna take a boat like this out single-handed, which is probably what I would do if I had a boat like this quite a lot because I wouldn't be able to find that many people who'd be willing to go out in rough weather, which is the sort of stuff I prefer doing. It would be so easy to handle this boat on your own. And in part, that's because of the fantastic all-round visibility. If I pan aft, looking out the uh, aft door there, and pan all the way around, just look at those windows, how big they are, and how narrow the stanchion is there as well. Obviously you've got your door that leads out into the foredeck, a very solid door. So when those waves come crashing over that bow, you're gonna get no water in this area, obviously. But the windows are just fantastic. And as I say, when you look up, and see that skylight. I mean, it is huge. And on a day like today, when there are hardly any clouds in the sky, um, you know, we're gonna be going out a few hours away from sunset. So we're gonna get some really great visuals out on the water. But yeah, I think if you were looking for a boat uh, that you were happy to take out in more or less any conditions with you and just one other person, then this is a fantastic boat for that because of the setup because of the ease with which you can get around the boat as well. Um, and let's just check out this helm position. Got a fantastic, almost kind of racing style helm wheel, a huge Simrad display there, a uh, compass over on the starboard side. All the controls, bilge pump lights, windscreen wiper, horn, anchor windlass as well. Uh, we've got the bow thruster. Again, you know, having a bow thruster on a boat of this size just goes back to that whole ethos of being able to take a boat like this out on your own. Um, if I had a boat like this, I'd be addicted to it. I'd want to go out all the time. Um, I even love the footrest down here as well. So when you are racing through those breaking waves, having the footrest down here with an extremely comfortable seat, helm position seat, it feels like you're in an executive car, but obviously this is a boat and obviously it's designed and built to go out into some gnarly stuff. So it is such an impressive boat. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to take it out. Uh, so yeah, make yourself comfortable, hold on tight and enjoy the ride. 
As we head out of the marina, let's chat a bit about the specifications of the Arxen 28. I made a yacht tour video about the Arxen 28 a few weeks ago. I'll leave a link to that video in the video description. She has a length overall of 28 feet and 1 inch, which is 8.57 meters. She has a beam of 8 feet and 4 inches, which is 2.55 meters. Meanwhile, her draft to her props is 2 feet and 11 inches, which is 0.9 meters. The Arxen 28 is powered by a single outboard engine of up to 450 horsepower. She can carry up to eight passengers and also has a daybed. Her cruising speed is 25 knots and she has a maximum speed of over 40 knots. She has a fuel capacity of 305 litres with a range of over 200 nautical miles when motoring along at her cruising speed. As already covered in my yacht tour video, the Arxen 28 has a daybed, pantry as well as a toilet which is great if you do decide to turn that day trip into an overnight trip, making the Arxen 28 a great all-rounder, especially when your trip exploring the coast turns into a visit to a pub in that marina you have always wanted to visit. Or maybe you want to spend a night at anchor away from it all, and who could blame you? So we've just left the marina, uh, currently going to head out into the Southampton uh, waters, hopefully find a little bit of chop out there, but as you can see, it is very calm, which is quite unique for a uh, November Sunday, especially in the UK. In fact, it was only up until Friday that we had winds gusting 40 knots uh, coming out from the south. Um, so yeah, but that left on Friday. but. You know, first impressions of the boat it's incredibly smooth you know very comfortable uh, there's plenty of seating and lots of room as well i mean there's um there's three of us on board at the moment including myself uh just coming away from the marina nobody was on top of each other all the lines were dealt with uh very quickly very cleanly there was no bumping into each other so for a boat that is you know 28 foot i think is really unique um so yeah i'm looking forward to getting out there showing you some running shots of the boats on the way um top speed of this boat you know over 30 knots so uh, we're gonna do some tight turns get some great visuals fingers crossed uh, and yeah show you what this boat is all about after leaving the speed restricted channels we spent the next 90 minutes more or less at full throttle so we're currently motoring along at 33 knots in some moderate swell which is fantastic because we've really got a chance to see how the boat handles in choppy weather and she handles really well really does just takes on the waves with minimal effort you see now we're doing some sharp turns to port and the hull really does just cut into the water there's no sliding whatsoever which is fantastic and as you can see on the horizon there are some uh, white caps out there which we're going to go and find right over Absolutely fantastic ride. And this is where we get to find out how good the automatic stabilization software on the GoPro Hero 9 really is. great it feels to be back out on the water again you know thrashing through some nice chop i'd really like to say a massive thank you to arson for making this possible i really appreciate the invite and i'm really enjoying this sea trial of the 28 a very lively very powerful boat that i'll be happy taking out in pretty much more or less any weather conditions
So we're currently motoring along at 35 knots and inside here with everything shut it's a very quiet experience you'd expect there to be more noise but it's so well built that you feel very insulated from the noise which is fantastic nice handy grab rail here for when things do get a bit choppy and obviously down by the feet as well this step here is fantastic you can really nestle yourself into the seat when you're powering along at 30 knots which is obviously what these kind of boats are made for there we see some white caps that we're heading towards now it's quite a moderate sea state which is fantastic nice tight turn to port now motoring through some following seas now you can see out the stern along at 32 knots the Harley's so well designed I mean you would not think that you were doing over 30 knots on what I would say is probably about a sea state four to five which is testament to the build quality and the design of this boat tells us which is phenomenal as I say you would not think that you were doing 38 knots unless you look out the window and see the seat rushing by you it really is a fantastic ride it feels great to be out on a boat like the Arkson 28 you know taking on these choppy weather conditions How's the ride in the back? Amazing, I'm holding on to the Pringles. We've got the emergency Pringles on standby. And before I forget, don't forget to give the video a like and of course to subscribe to the channel. Jet Ferry Wake. Excellent. Wow. Yeah, these bucket seats are amazing as well because, as you can see, it's quite choppy, but my hips aren't feeling any pain or punishment and nestled very well into these fantastic seats which anybody who's spent any time at sea in some rough weather will tell you just how great that kind of seating is. The last thing you want to be doing when you're punting around is having to worry about falling off the sea, which is something that definitely won't happen on the Arkson 28. The maneuverability and the, the way 
she handles is really quite outstanding. As I say, we're doing 32 knots at the moment, but you wouldn't think it, which is one of the unique features about this vessel that I've found, just how quiet it is in here. The controls are extremely responsive. Anyway, sit back and enjoy the ride. Yeah, sounds great. Right, 
turn it slower. spend a Sunday afternoon on the water on the brand new Arxon 28. As I said before there's a lot of things that impress me about this boat. The handling, the performance, just how quiet it is as well. I mean you saw what the conditions were like out there and when we were hammering along at 30 knots there was hardly any noise in here that's relative to that kind of speed and those kind of conditions. And like I said at the beginning of the video this is the sort of boat that I would be happy taking out on my own. She's so easy to handle, the lines are very easy to work and it has been a real joy. And as I said, I'd like to say a big thank you to Arxon for making this sea trial possible. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. And again, don't forget, give the video a like and to subscribe. I'd also like to say thank you to Sonia from Arxon who joined us on the trip and to Captain Ben, who is not only a super yacht captain, but also does a fantastic job as a cameraman. If you'd like to find out more about the Arxon 28, then I will leave a link in the video description. And I look forward to sharing some more sea trial videos with you in the future. So until next time, fair winds and following seas. As always, I'd like to say a massive thank you to my channel members for supporting my YouTube channel. If you're interested in finding out more about YouTube's channel membership, then click on the link in the video description, or you can click on the join button underneath the video. YouTube's channel membership is basically their version of Patreon. Don't forget to check out my other videos and playlists. The video recommendation in the top left-hand corner of the screen is one of my videos that YouTube thinks you will love.